What's up everybody, Saberwolf94, uh, X and Y, that, that's pretty much it, it's just, uh, this isn't a booster box, this is 80, you know, 3 card uh, boosters that you can get from places like, uh, I guess in the US, Walmart and, oh no, the dollar stores and stuff like that, I don't know, like uh, for $1, so, you know, has 3 cards in, um, I got these pretty cheap, it was 100 boosters, but I had to open 20, uh, don't quote me on that. And we got uh, Trevenant and uh, Mega Blastoise, so that that was kind of cool. So hopefully we get good shit from this too. But it's 80, you know, uh, three card packs. These are supposed to be not weighted, so scaled and stuff. If you guys don't know what that is, Google it. Scaled packs. So hopefully we get some good shit. I'm gonna try and do this fast because my camera is not 100%. Let's just say that. So, and you know, there is no codes in them. This is just, you know, advertising shit. Okay, so first pack. Nothing much. Let's hope we get some Del Foxes and shit like this. Uh, evil tall EXs and shit. Oh, what the fuck? I already pulled one. Yes. No full art, but this will more than do. This is one of the best cards of all time, in my opinion. A cool card. It really was playable for as long. Well, it's still fucking available in the format and playable. So that is amazing already. I mean, just because of this, like this set is like worth it, I would say. You know, just because of this, because, you know, it, it amazing. I got this pretty cheaply. So that's pretty cool. So let's keep going. Turbo, what do we got? Not shit. Um, I never managed to get X and Y and the boxes are kind of expensive for no reason these days. Uh, reverse. So this was the best alternative I could find. I don't know if I should be mentioning these things, but whatever. And, you know, it's just that I want to be able to get, like, uh, at least a good amount of packs from every set. So I can say, okay, I, I have gotten this set. Like, I have most of the cards from this set. Save a lie. If we get like, you know, maybe two more EXs or something, uh, I think this will be good enough for me. I do want to get a few rare hollows though, because, you know. Just because of Evil Tall, you know, the fairy Pokemon and shit like this, uh, this was a pretty impactful, you know, first set of uh, generation. Oh yeah, another Trevenant. Damn. Yeah, and also this guy. How can I forget about this guy? So this guy, you know, was amazing when he got released because it basically did the same shit. Another Pokemon called Gardevoir did. I got released in Emerging Powers, I think, from Black and White. But, you know, being a stage one was great, was quicker. 110 HP was perfect for as broken this Pokemon is. You know, Gardevoir only had 20 more and was a stage two. So, you know, this was outclassed it pretty much in every way. Uh, Tree Slam is actually a great attack. Does 60 on the active and 20 to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So that's like... 100 total if you factor in the bench damage for 3 energy, also double colorless compatible. And with the um, psychic, whatever the fuck called, Stadium from Phantom Forces, you can actually do this and just use 2 psychic energy. So that was great too. And of course, this was broken because of the Forest Curse ability, which was, as long as this Pokemon is active, your opponent can play item cards. Broken. You know, beautiful card as well. Has a 
fucking fighting resistance too. It was all around a perfect card, a fantastic, very great card. I'm glad we're getting more of these. Now I have two. Um, and three retreat. You guys know the gist by now. It's high, but you get to use um, heavy ball. And I guess if you use special psychic energy or whatever the hell it was called, I don't remember the mind energy or whatever. The special psychic energy that wasn't Phantom Forces. You know, I guess you could dump it down to one retreat. Slug my reverse, roller skates, the coin if heads draw three. I'm kind of not in the angle that I want to be in, I think. You get basic fighting, basic energies from this, uh, not cool. Jalone Flame, this might be a rare hollow, not sure. Probably is, but... Swello. Man, I fucking love this Pokemon, but... It sucked. You know, hard charm. This was kind of useful too. You know, before there was shit like fighting fury belt. Oh yeah, and muscle band. I'm pretty sure came in this set. Which yeah, that card was definitely. Super playable, super good. Everybody could use it. <clears throat> and you got the Duck Trio, does one for 60. Basically the same attack as Don Fan Prime, but you know, without having that guy's perks. Is. Got the Fennekin, Shauna. That doesn't let you draw six, but only five. I'm gonna give myself more space. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Um, okay, nothing. What else was in here? Well, my favorite card was definitely Professor's Letter. Because, you know, for the Embor and Blasters and shit like that, that card was so perfect. So much better than any energy search. Getting you two cards, you know, not only some good consistency, you know, energy searching, but also thin that the deck nicely. You know, made cards like supporters such as, um, uh, I think it was called, what was that gym leader called? Um, uh, Cillin, I think, or something, you know, pretty useless, you know, you would waste your supporter to get like three energies, but, you know, you didn't have to anymore, not that you would, because uh, he was a shitty card anyway, but, okay, Chestnut is a rare hollow, that's cool, I wanted to use this Pokemon too, you know, but it just, it never works out, I mean, 160 HP was pretty good, uh, reverse Phantom, cool. Yeah, this guy's ability, if they attack your dude, 30 damage. And, you know, 90 for 4, and it also had healing. I think that it was a solid Pokemon, it's just... Stage 2s were just, they were trying to make them better. It was when they started to like, okay, we're gonna make these guys good. Slowly but surely. But they just couldn't make the cut still. You know, the only one that really had any relevance 
was Empoleon. And that was because he functioned on one energy. You know, his other shit was good. His ability to draw was good and stuff. But it was mostly because, at least if you were going through the trouble of getting him out, he functioned one energy and did a lot of damage. If your opponent had bench. Double colorless energy reprint. Yeah, they reprinted this card too. Pissing me off. I want to experience a format again, and this card isn't around for a long time to see what's going to happen. I really do. The blow up vault orb. Charm Reverse and Evo Soda. I guess this was a decent card too. If only it was a little better working straight up when you play the Pokemon. So I don't want you I don't want to be the guy that is like recommends getting stuff like this. It's up to you guys. If you guys Cross sellers, if you guys know what you're doing, if you think the price is right, um, if you buy a lot, I don't know. But for me, it just seems that it, it worked out this time. I think already I've got enough good shit to justify the price. Um, but you know, it, hap it has happened before where I buy stuff like this and you don't get good pulls. And I'm talking about, you know, when you think they're not weighted as well. A perfect example, the, um, this is a Yu-Gi-Oh example, but, you know, Dark Revelations 3, I got 24 boosters that were supposed to be unweighted. And it's not like they probably, they probably were, you know, unscaled, but I still got shit pulls, a reverse, evil tall. This basic Pokemon was also amazing, like Evil Tall. I don't want to waste time explaining these guys, um, even though I probably should, but we're trying to do this quick. Maybe we'll do it if I have time later. But I've already talked about them in a deck profile and in games and stuff. Shadow Circle, this was great too. I believe there's like a Molga Full Art in here, Aroma Tease. Very nice. This was another very playable Pokemon. Basically having Hydreigon's ability to move energy around, but it was a stage one, it was much quicker. You know, obviously strategies like this have disadvantages too, but this was a very playable card. Many people will agree, a very good card. It's also a beautiful card. And I do like Aromatis, it was part of the reason I got Y, to be honest, instead of X. But yeah, very good. So we're done with the first 40 packs, I think. So we have a long way to go. And so far, things have been pretty cool. But yeah, you guys know the max potion strategies, all that shit.
What else was in here? Anything else? It wasn't like the most broken set of all time. Now, oh, the Lone Flame, yeah, you are a hollow, like I thought. Okay, let's put your ass in a sleeve then. Just cause. Cool looking card. I don't want to be the guy that says, like, every card is cool, but... Ah, sometimes I do feel that, you know, the cards are cool. Uh, this might be a rare holo too, I don't remember, but whatever. So I've only gotten one EX so far. Evil Toll is great, but you know, let's hope we get some more shit, a few more. Like at least give me maybe if I'm gonna be keep getting rare hollows, give me one more EX at least. An Amolga full art would be nice, I think this is in here. Very useless Pokemon, but just because it's cute. I wouldn't mind it at all for my collection. You know, any either one is fine, but I think the full art. You know, we want the full art. Some rare Xerneas would be nice because that Pokemon was incredibly playable and useful. You know, this sort of uh, grab from your deck energy acceleration, it's pretty good. Man, and my camera is running out of time, so I think we're going to have to speed shit up, especially if I want to do the rundown. But yeah, it is kind of lame, there are no codes, like even like uh, three card ones or like five card ones. Because I guess if you were getting a booster box, even if it's more expensive, you know, there's the argument you get codes too and shit. So you gotta weigh your options. I mean, I have most of this shit in TCG Online, and there we go, Grand Ninja. A playable card. Well, not anymore, but I guess... Maybe you would use this with Greninja Break and shit. I think some people did, maybe. Looks cool. Even though I like Del Fox better. But okay, another uh, holo. Great. So we just need to Del Fox now and we will have the whole trio. Hope I get it. That card I definitely did use and would have liked to use with Break. With the uh, Fates Collide Del Foxes and shit. So this is a race against- ah, yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Okay, I don't think I'll have any complaints. Del Fox. Man, I want to sit around and talk about this card, but as I was about to say, it's a race against time at this point with my camera. I only have like 14 minutes left. But yeah, Del Fox, 140 HP, pretty good. Ability Mystical Fire, draw until you have six cards in hand. Was very cool, very good. Uh, this is in a rare hollow, right? No. And Blaze Ball, it's basically Keldeo's attack and Raikou's attack. You should be very familiar by this point. For every fire energy, it does 20 more damage. So with three, it does 110, you got four, 130, and it goes up from there. Vivillon, Vivillion. I hate bugs, but it's gonna pass as a pretty card a little bit. And it's a rare hollow, and well, 
It's a rare hollow. Getting our money's worth. So we're running out of shit here. No EXs, it's just gonna be that great card in the beginning. I guess it's better than nothing. Um, didn't really pay all that much for this for for rare hollow. So we're getting our rare hollows, just not EXs. Just what, like four packs left? Okay, give me a full art, or at least a regular EX. One more and we'll be okay, I think. You know, probably I would, would get more if I had gotten a box from X and Y, but yeah, what can you do? Got a lot of hollows at least. So last pack, come on. If it's a full art evil tall, then automatically this is worth it. And it's not. Surprise. Alright. Okay guys, uh, not really some fancy shit here, but uh, we did get some stuff. Uh, of course, Evil Tall X, best card. At least it made things somewhat worth it, getting this guy in this set, along with Trevenant. Very playable card. I guess you have to use it and expand it now. Chestnut, I like. Aromatiz, I like. This, I kind of like. And this too. Delphox, definitely like. This, okay. And for fro, you know. These are the rare hollows, basically. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I think I pulled another reverse of this guy, so this makes it nine. Along with Evil Tall, that's ten. So out of these 80 sort of three card packs, you guys can do the math and everything to figure out how worth it it was. Uh, we got like 1EXs and 9 foils. So, whatever, you know, I collected all the comments and shit. Um, so I can say that I have, I have collected, you know, most of the set. This is the important thing for me. This is why I got this. And this is also very playable. So we got this to reverse. So... That's basically it guys, like I said, I would have gotten a booster box if I could, but I don't really want to pay like triple or at least double, but I'd say triple the price at this point of this kind of set. I don't understand why. It actually has been like this for quite some time, it's not like it's just now, got expensive, but yeah. Evil Tolly X, uh, still good, one of the better shit. You know, at least we got this. Yeah. But, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys subscribe. Like this video. Uh, this is my pretty lame thumbs up. Can't really do much the way I have the camera here. But like this video, this helps me get noticed and stuff. Uh -huh. I do want to make a little bit more money out of this YouTube shit. I'm not making any money. Um, and I don't want to be that guy that talks about money, but it is important if I can, if I'm going to be able to do this like more and more. And, you know, I do want to get noticed. So leave a like. Hope you guys leave a like. Share this with your friends if they like this sort of uh, fast opening boxes. If, I don't think a lot of people post these uh, three card booster opening so if you guys want to see like a uh, I think this was a good gist of uh, how you'll do maybe so if other people you know want to know a bit about these things and maybe get an idea of the ratios and shit uh, you guys can show them like I said this was a hundred boosters not 80 but I've opened uh, 20 off screen um, long before and uh, I got a Trevenant another Trevenant and uh, regular Blastoise EX, Mega Blastoise EX. Don't think I pulled anything else of a value of uh, being a rare hollow or higher. So, yeah, I guess you could say from a hundred sort of three card boosters, we got 
um, 10 or 11 rare hollows and 2 EXs, something like that. But, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. What's up?